Hello and welcome back to my Lutify shopping cart video. In this video, I will show how the checkout page could uh, could be created in, in Lutify. So let's begin. The first one is we want the checkout page, so we need to copy this and say checkout. And now we need the, the view file and we need to import it. So let's uh, duplicate this line and it should be checkout. And we still need the beautify file, so let's create it. And then we are good to go. And over here we need a V container. And uh, then we need the h2 tag where we call the uh, class display2 and we call it basket checkout. And then we need uh, a form because we prepare a form statement where we need to save the, the user data. And then we will use vlayout. To define, we use two flex boxes. On small devices, it should uh, fill uh, six grids. And I want to copy this one more time. And inside here, I will uh, give him a headline, payment address. And down here, we want to say. Address and the next step will be uh, <clears throat> we need the V checkbox field, yes, and the label here we just leave it empty, but we copied it for name, address, uh, zip code, city, phone, and email. And then we need name. And then we want a checkbox. We want this because, as default, the, the payment address is the same as uh, the delivery address in, in the most cases. But if if a customer want to to use an other delivering address, they, they have this, this options. So let's bind it with the V model to a delivering address. And we're giving a label. Other delivering address. And then we just copy those four fields and put it down here. And we need uh, to save a field tag because we uh, do something here based on. Uh, on the delivering address is checked or not. So we use a VF. If this is true, then show it. VLs, you go inside here and you will build a VLR. And the delivering address is the same as payment address. And we will say this is a type info to make it blue and value is equal to true. And then we go down to here and use the data fields. As default, we want to false. And for the End of it. We want to HR break and then we need to make it a, a V button. <coughs> Complete order. 
college of these six years. And larger. And we want to point it to the right side. So float right. Let's see about this working as it should be. It's here and it's showing here, so you can do this. It's working perfectly. So that's how you can build your own checkout page. And of course you can film more on it if you want. So thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoy. Hope you want to subscribe my channel and share this video with your friends. And of course remember to put it to your playlist so you can find it later. Thank you so much for subscribing. See you.